on attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime. If you wish to free yourself from the sufferings of birth and death you have endured since time without beginning and to attain without fail and sur surpassed enlightenment in this lifetime. You must perfect perceive the mystic truth that is originally inherent in all living beings. This truth is Myoho Renge Kyo. Chanting Myoho Renge Kyo will therefore enable you to grasp the mystic truth innate, innate in all life. The Lotus Sutra is the king of sutras, true and correct in both word and principle. Its words are the ultimate reality, and this reality is the mystic law, Myoho. It is called the mystic law because it reveals the principles of the mutually inclusive relationship of a single moment of life and all phenomena. That is why this sutra is the wisdom of all Buddhahood, Buddhas. Life at each moment encompasses the body and mind and the self and environment of all sentient beings in the ten worlds as well as all insentient beings in the three thousand re realms, including plants, sky, earth, and even the minutest particles of dust. Life and each moment permit, permit, permits the entire realm of phenomena and is revealed in all phenomena. To be awakened to this principle is itself the mutually inclusive relationship of life at each moment and all phenomena. Nevertheless, even though you chant and believe in Myoho Renge Kyo, if you think the law is outside yourself, you are embracing not the mystic law, but an inferior teaching. Inferior teaching means those other than this Lotus Sutra which are all expend, expe, <coughs> expedient and provi, provisional. No expedient or provisional teaching leads directly to enlightenment and without the direct path to enlightenment, you cannot attain Buddhahood. Even if you practice lifetime after lifetime for countless kalpas. Attaining Buddhahood, Buddhahood in this lifetime is then impossible. Therefore, when you chant Myoho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is your life itself. You must never think that any of the 80,000 sacred teachings of Shakamuni Buddha's lifetime or any of the Buddha's and Bodhisattvas of the Ten Directions and the Three Existences are outside yourself. 
your practice of the Buddhist teachings will not relieve you of the sufferings of birth and death in the least unless you perceive the true nature of your life. If you seek enlightenment outside yourself, then you r e performing even 10,000 practices and 10,000 good deeds will be in vain. It is like the case of a poor man who spends night and day counting his neighbor's wealth but gains not even half a coin. That is why the Tian Tian Scores Commentary states, unless Unless one perceives the nature of one's life, one cannot eradicate one's grave of fences. This passage implies that unless one perceives the nature of one's life, one's practice will become an endless, painfully Austerity. Therefore, such students of Buddhism are condemn, condemned as non Buddhist. Great concentration and insight states that although they study Buddhism, they view, their views are no different. From those of non -Buddhist, Buddhists. Whether you chant the Buddha's name, recite the sutra, or merely offer flowers and in incense, incense, all your virtuous acts will implant benefits and roots of goodness in your life. With this conviction, you should. Strive in faith. The Vimalakirti Sutra states that when one seeks the Buddhist Buddha's emancipation in the minds of ordinary beings, one finds that ordinary beings are the Entities of enlightenment, and that the sufferings of birth and death are nirvana. It also states that if the minds of living beings are impure, their land is also impure. But if their minds are pure, so is their land. There are not two lands, pure or impure, in themselves. The difference lies solely, sol solely in the good or evil or of our minds. It is the same with the Buddha and an ordinary, ordinary being. When the deluded one is called an ordinary being, But when enlightened, one is called a Buddha. This is similar to a tarnished mirror that will shine like a jewel when polished. A mind now clouded by the illusions of the innate darkness of life is like a tarnished mirror. But when polished, it is sure to become like a clear mirror, reflecting the essential nature of phenomena and the true aspect of reality. Arouse deep faith and delightedly polish your mirror day and night. 
How should you polish it? Only by chanting Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo. What then does Myo signify? It is simply the mysterious nature of our life. From moment to moment, which the mind cannot comprehend or words express. When we look into our own mind at any moment, we perceive neither color nor form to verify that it exists. Yet we still cannot say it does not exist, for many differing thoughts continually occur. The mind cannot be considered either to exist or not to exist. Life is indeed an ex elu elusive reality that transcends both the words and the concepts of existence and non existence. It is neither existence nor non existence, yet exhibits the qualities of both. It is the mystic ent entity of the middle way that is the ultimate reality. Myo is the name given to the mystic nature of life, and Ho to its manifestations. Renge, which means lotus flower, is used to symbolize the wonder of this law. If we understand that our life at this moment is Myo, then we will also understand that our life at all the other moment is the mystic law. This realization is the mystic kyo or sutra. The Lotus Sutra is the king of sutras, the direct path to enlightenment for is explained that the entity of our life which manifests either good or evil at each moment is in fact the the entity of the mystic law. If you chant Myoho Renge Kyo with deep faith in this principle, you are certain to attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. That is why the sutra states, after I have passed into ex extinction, one should accept and uphold this sutra. Such a person assuredly and without doubt will attain the Buddha way, never doubt in the slightest, respectfully. Maintain your faith and attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. Nam myo ho renge kyo, nam myo ho renge kyo. Nichiren. Background. This letter was written to Toki Jonin in the seventh year of Kencho 1255, two years after Nichiren Daishonin established his teaching of Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo. At the time of this letter, the Daishonin was 34 years old and was living in Kamakura the seat of the military government. Toki was a staunch flower follower of the Daishonin who lived in Wakamiya in Shio, Shimo, Shimo, Shimosa province. He received some 30 letters including letter from Sado and one of the major treatises. Treatise. 
three tithes. The object of devotion for observing the mind, a retainer of Lord Chiba, the constable of Shimosa. Toki had become a follower of the Daishonin around 1254. Of all his writings from the mid-1240s on attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime focuses most clearly on the ten tenets of the Daishonin's Buddhism. Many of the, the other works of this period are uh, aimed chiefly at ref refuting the error, erroneous doctrines of other schools and discussing theoretical questions. This short essay not only reflects the theories Tian Tai formulated based on the Lotus Sutra, but also revealed the concrete practice for attaining Buddhahood, namely chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, that is missing in Tian Tai's theoretical framework. Myoho Renge Kyo is the title of the Lotus Sutra, but to the Daishonin, it is much more. It is the, es the essence of the Sutra. The revelation of the Supreme Law itself. Apparent in this work are both the depth of his thought and his conviction that Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo is the, the only teaching that can lead people to Buddhahood in this lifetime. Notes 1. Chant Myo Ho and recite Renge means to chant the Daimoku of the Mystic Law or Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo. 2. The, the annotations on great concentration and insight. 3. As used here, the Buddha's name denotes Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. 4. This sentence can also be interpreted to read. If one understands that one's life is myo, then one also understands that others' lives are all enti entities of the mystic law. 5. Lotus Sutra Chapter 12, 21